Hey guys, Seleno here from playtoearn.net. For today's video, we'll be looking at blockchain games that are currently building on Polygon. The Polygon network is becoming more popular for blockchain projects to build on for its scalability and low network fees. It is also easily accessible for people on Ethereum. And of course, blockchain gaming projects have also been building here. So without further ado, here are 5 blockchain games building on Polygon to keep an eye on. To start off our list, we have Crown Chaser. Crown Chaser is a tower defense style real-time strategy metaverse game. In Crown Chaser, players can buy and collect cards to use in thrilling battles with other players where they can show off their skill in PvP combat. The gameplay of Crown Chaser is similar to Clash Royale, so if you've played that game before, you might already be familiar with this. Players are transported to the arena. Inside the arena, there will be 6 towers, 3 per player. To win a game, the player must destroy all 3 opponent's towers which will result in an instant win, or destroy the most towers within the time limit. To destroy towers, players will have to utilize cards in different ways. Players will each have a deck of 8 cards to start fighting in the arena. The cards can be heroes, buildings, or spells. There are 3 different classes of heroes, fighters, tanks, and support. Each hero is unique and can be an air or ground troop. Cards also have 4 rarities, which are base, rare, epic, and legendary. When players start the game, they are automatically given a set of starter cards. Playing cards uses mana, and players recover mana over time during the match. Matches can happen in 1v1 mode, or you can play with a friend or a random teammate in 2v2. For each victory, multiple rewards will get awarded. There will also be a guild feature where players can make or join guilds and participate in guild fights. And for more competitive players, there will be a league and leaderboard players can rank in. The higher the rank at the end of the season, the more rewards, like the game's token CPG and CUC. The game is still in development, and according to the roadmap, a beta is set for Q3 of 2022 and a full game launch in Q4 of 2022. The next game on our list is Planet Mojo. Planet Mojo is a gaming metaverse being built on Polygon by veterans from LucasArts, EA, Activision, and Happy Giant. Their first upcoming game is Mojo Melee, a PvP auto chess battler game being reimagined for the blockchain. In Mojo Melee, players will have the ability to own their in-game playable 3D characters as NFTs and compete in ongoing play under tournaments with crafted Battlestone NFTs made in biome land play. Over time, players will be able to take their customized teams into a suit of interconnected games and experiences set inside the Planet Mojoverse. If you've played games like Teamfight Tactics or Dota Underlords, you might be familiar with this gameplay. The first NFTs of the Planet Mojo Metaverse are the Mojos. Each Mojo derives their power from the mysterious energy of the planet. They fight alongside their newly found alliances of clan champions in the wilds of Planet Mojo. They are a collection of 9,999 Mojos, and these are fully playable 3D game characters. Each Mojo class will give players access to different abilities and synergies with unique types of spells and more. Champions are warriors from the clans of Planet Mojo. In Mojo Melee, most of a player's team will consist of champions that have banded together with their Mojo. Champions have their own classes, combat abilities, stats, and leveling properties. The game will be free to play, but will have limited progression without owning NFTs. There will also be biomes or land play in the future where players can place, harvest, and collect resources in a place to call home. There are different biome types like forest, savanna, coastal, swamp, and arctic. And there will also be PvP tournaments players can join in the future for a chance at even more rewards, including the game's token mojo, ore, and battle stones. The game is still under development, and according to their roadmap, the pre-alpha for Mojo Melee will come out in Q3 of 2022, while the open beta comes out in Q4 of 2022. If you're enjoying this list so far, you can check out our website at playtoearn.net. We have different categories you can search from so you can actually find what you're looking for. Now let's get back to the video. The next game on our list is Shatterpoint. Shatterpoint is a skill-based free-to-play and play-to-own action RPG for mobile. In Shatterpoint, players use their characters to battle in PvE and PvP for a chance to show off their skills and earn rewards. Players use heroes as avatars to represent themselves in the game. Every hero starts with different base stats, but these can be further influenced by the in-game equipment and traits. Heroes can be NFTs. NFT heroes retain their level after a season ends, and non-NFT heroes get their level reset to 1. A few examples of heroes are Trevor, Shatu Zhu, Admiral Finlay, and Bryanite. There are abilities, runes, and equipment players can use to make their heroes even stronger. Gameplay is divided into PvE and PvP. In PvE, Campaign is divided into 5 worlds, and each world has 2 modes, Campaign and Skirmish. Completing Campaign levels furthers the overall campaign progress and unlocks new worlds. Players encounter enemies, find gear chests, and have to complete the main quest to finish the level. They can also complete optional quests to gain more experience. There will also be boss levels. Skirmish levels are endless and can be used for farming gear and defeating mobs. PvE is where players can farm loot. 
PvP is a 3v3 arena team deathmatch. Every player enters with a hero they own or rent. Heroes are not limited because identical heroes can be built differently, depending on gear. Initially, matchmaking will be based on a combination of power potential and win-loss. There will also be seasonal challenges for players to participate in to earn even more rewards. Other features include NFT items, a forge to upgrade NFT heroes and equipment, daily rewards, a leaderboard for gameplay, and a marketplace to trade NFTs. The game is still in development, and according to the roadmap, the PvE and PvP content will be released in Q4 of 2022. The next game on our list is CryptoBots. CryptoBots is an economy-centered player-earned game merging two genres, collectible RPG and space grand strategy. In CryptoBots, players use their bots and spaceship NFTs to participate in PvP arena battles and explore space for a chance to earn rewards. The game features multiple NFTs. The first one is the Genesis Bots. Genesis Bots are a collection of 10,000 NFTs and will be the ones to spread genes for all upcoming CryptoBots generations. Owning one grants holders several benefits, such as early access to the game, faster manufacturing speed, higher manufacturing limit, limited holders packs, and create initial supply. Spaceships are the second kind of NFT, and players will need one to travel their bots between planets, explore the universe, and fight in space battles. Ships are created by fusing two or more bots. The bots are destroyed in the process but create a new type of in-game asset, the spaceship. Spaceships can also be upgraded by fusing new bots, improving weapons, engines, protection, and more. There will also be land NFTs, which the game says will broaden opportunities for players to both play and earn. Using their NFTs, users can play the game such as the arena bot fights. This is a PvP arena mode where players pit bots against each other, with the winner receiving rewards and increasing in rank. And by using spaceships, players can join spaceship battles using a fleet of ships to conquer space. Players can join an alliance to defend their territory. And alliances can wage war against others to determine rights such as planet control, resources, and major in-game entities. The game is still in development, and according to their roadmap, a scholarship launch is expected soon. And the last game on our list is Fight of the Ages. Fight of the Ages is a AAA metaverse gaming project under the hybrid of MOBA RPG and integrated with Microsoft Mesh technology. In Fight of the Ages, players use their heroes empowered by abilities and items to fight the enemies in campaign and have a chance to earn rewards. Players use heroes to interact with the game and battle others. Heroes have a race, which is their origin, and a class, or their fighting style. Examples of races are Omni, Dragon, Demon, Elf, and Human. Examples of classes are Mage, Priest, Warlock, Warrior, and Chemist. All heroes have three skills they use in combat. A few examples of heroes are Kaim, Godwin, Abaddon, and Eric. Players can also equip items with their heroes such as weapons, skins, and equipment to make them even stronger. These are also NFTs and are freely tradable on the marketplace. The game has multiple modes. In campaign, players can follow the storyline of the Foda universe. In the Unity Saga, players can explore three worlds, the Greenland, the Earth, and the Nightmare, each having 10 stages. There will also be warrior quests and seasonal quests where players can earn more rewards. In Arena Mode, players can organize a match at any time using Foda's matchmaking. Players will be matched with others who are similarly skilled. The winner will get experience points that allow leveling up and get more tokens as rewards so they can buy more items or convert to Fiat. There is also a dual mode, where players can create rooms in 1v1 mode where each user controls 3 to 5 heroes, or 2v2 to 5v5 modes where users control one hero each. In dual mode, groups place a bet to play and the winner of the match takes the pot. And there's also a tournament mode for more organized PvP. According to their roadmap, the official launch should be coming soon. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If you're looking for more games building on Polygon and want it to be early, I hope this list helped you out. Which game on this list would you play? Let me know in the comments. And for more info on everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video!